What's happening, my Jack family? Coach Scott here, jackedafter40.com and shreddedafter40.com. Welcome to another episode of the Jacked After 40 Life vlog. Today I'm gonna to take you through my chest, back, and ab workout. This is from the June Jacked After 40 Club workout plan. Uh, right now I'm just beginning with some mobility work. I've been neglecting mobility and any stretching during the past, I'd say, four to six weeks. I've just been really busy with work. My lifestyle has been crazy busy, so kind of, I won't say I'm rushing through the workouts, but I've been slacking off on some of the things that, um, outside of the workouts that would benefit just my overall health, my overall well-being. Uh, so making sure I am prioritizing those once again. Uh, prior to this, breakfast, usual, uh, start to my day with the kefir shake. So one cup of homemade kefir, one cup of unsweetened vanilla almond milk, an ass load of spinach, a banana, a scoop of protein powder, a scoop of black maca powder from the maca team to optimize my male hormone health, half a teaspoon of cystanch, and uh, along with that, I have the 5,000 I use of vitamin D3, uh, three omega-3 fish oil capsules, combined EPA DHA of 2.7 grams, 300 milligrams of ashwagandha, 300 milligrams of magnesium, and uh, 1,000 MCGs of vitamin B12. And I've been busy running around this morning, so I brought some food with me. I had the 260 grams of plain Greek yogurt, along with 140 grams frozen mixed berries, a little cinnamon sprinkled on top of that. And along with that, I had the morning motivator uh, in 12 ounces of almond and unsweetened almond and uh, coconut milk, absolutely freaking delicious. If you've been watching this channel for a little while, you know that that is one of my favorite go-to drink. I love the black maca powder, the premium black maca powder from the maca team, but that, um, that drink, that morning motivator, which has 10 grams of maca in it, a blend of yellow, black, and red, in addition to some uh, raw cacao powder, raw mesquite, raw lacuma, and raw coconut in there, absolutely freaking delicious. So great way to energize myself. Uh, so two little meals, two good sized meals uh, in me before this workout. Mobility is done, let's get at the training session. Kicking out the workout with the high pulley cable fly, performing three sets, 12 to 15 repetitions, 60 seconds rest between sets. Uh, this is a nice joint friendly isolation exercise that's going to enhance your mind muscle connection with your pecs. You can really see me squeezing the contraction there, really controlling the movement on the way back, feeling the pecs stretch. This kind of mind muscle connection is gonna carry over into the other chest exercise in this workout. Just a great way to warm up that target muscle, deliver some nutrient rich blood to it. And again, just, it really sets the tone for the exercises to come here. So a big key to longevity, I find in this sport of recreational bodybuilding here is beginning with a nice joint friendly movement that really primes you for the movements to come. <laughs> that was an absolutely wicked pump here on the machine chest press. So did three sets aiming for 12 to 15 reps. This is a hypertrophy focused workout here. So we're going for the pump, we're going higher repetitions here and resting for about 90 seconds between each of those sets, making sure I was fully recovered. But after completing that third set, I did a rest pause times three. So that is our advanced training technique that we're incorporating into the June uh, Jack Death 40 Club workout plan. So. Aiming for the, the third set, did the 12 to 15 repetitions and rested for 10 seconds, did as many more reps as I could with that same weight, rested for another about 10 seconds, did as many more reps as I could with that same weight, rest for another 10 seconds, as many more reps as I could with that same weight. So um, I think as, it's, it's close to 10 seconds. I'm just kind of counting in my head there when I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go. Uh, so I think I did 13 or 14 reps on that first like my third set there, and then for the rest positive, five, four, three. You're typically gonna see your reps decline as you go down. In the past, I've done like a just absolutely disgusting extended rest pause where you just keep going until you can't go anymore. But uh, just for tracking purposes, it's kind of nice to just have, all right, you're gonna do three as many as you can. And this is a wrap for the chest portion of the workout. So six sets here plus the extended rest pause sets. Uh, we are training each muscle group twice per week in this plan, so we hit, um, chest and back earlier in the week. It was a strength focused workout. Once again, six reps. So a total of 12 repetitions for chest and back this month. It's a lower, low moderate volume training plan. Like this is enough. Like I am feel, I'm going to feel this chest portion of the workout um, for days to come. I was definitely feeling the chest and back after the workout earlier in the week. This is the first week on this June workout plan. Uh, now it is time to move on to the back portion of the workout. I hope you enjoyed this chest portion for 
shortage, and uh, let's get a good pump on for our lats. Kicking the back portion of the workout off with the dumbbell row three sets, eight to 12 repetitions. Notice how I am holding that squeeze, that brief squeeze at the top range of the motion there, really contracting the lats like crazy. Again, the first exercise for a body part, I really like to Make sure it's enhancing that mind-muscle connection. It's gonna carry over to the other exercises for that body part. Typically, in a lot of the splits, as it progress, this one will add, instead of being two exercises, it'll be three exercises for back, three exercises for chest, uh, or just more sets. Um, so I really like to, to enhance that mind-muscle connection with that first exercise. Again, a joint-friendly movement, uh, but this is a wicked pump. I mean, my lats feel um, very pumped up, ready to move on to the next exercise. <laughs> Again, what a wicked freaking pump. So for the wide grip pull down here, machine pull down. Again, three sets, 12 to 15 reps for those three sets. About 90 seconds to two minutes rest between each of those sets. After completing the third set, that's when we get into the uh, rest pause times three there. And exactly the same as for the machine chest press, I was able to hit about 13 reps on that third set. And then for the rest pause, I did five, four, three. So again, the decreasing reps there. Again, you don't want to force out any of those reps. This is a way of safely taking that muscle beyond the point of failure. So you reach that point of momentary muscular failure when I hit that 13 repetitions there, but I'm able to extend it beyond that safely by just resting for 10 seconds, doing as many more reps as I can with good quality form. I didn't grind out those 13 reps. I stopped when I was done, uh, reached that point of momentary muscular failure. When I hit those five repetitions for that first rest pause, I didn't grind out that fifth rep. I knew if I pushed out another repetition, I'd, I'd be grinding it out. Rest for 10 seconds, then I did four reps. Rest for 10 seconds, then I did three repetitions. None of those reps were grinded out, but it was a way for me to hip muscle fibers that wouldn't otherwise get worked if you just did three straight sets. So um, again, one of my favorite training techniques, to advanced training techniques to take that muscle safely beyond failure for us men over 40, drop sets is another great one, mechanical advantage supersets is another great one. So many great techniques that we can work into our training. Again, you don't wanna go overboard with a whole bunch of techniques. This is all we're doing, um, the only advanced training technique in the June workout plan for the Jack Death 40 Club. Again, straight sets were early Earlier in the week, strength focused workouts, six to 10 repetitions there. Again, no grinding out of repetitions. What a freaking pump, onto abs. Absolutely incredible ab portion of this training session, beginning with the reverse crunch. This is an exercise that places a little extra emphasis on the lower abdominals. You can never isolate lower, upper, or mid abdominals, but certain exercises like the reverse crunch, hanging knee raises, where you're curling your pelvis upwards, can shift a little bit of the extra emphasis towards the lower abdominals. So really notice on this exercise how I'm curling my pelvis. I'm bringing my knees towards my head. I really love the decline bench here. Just adds a little extra resistance. Um, I'm keeping my knees, my legs kind of locked in place there. So a bend to my knees. I'm not straightening them as I lower. I'm not lowering them so much where I'm feeling tension in my lower back. I'm just getting a good stretch in the bottom for my abdominals, but really using my abs to curl my pelvis upwards, bringing my knees towards my head. Three sets here, aiming for as many reps as possible. I typically land around the 20 repetitions for this exercise. Then moving on to the cable crunch. So instead of curling the pelvis upwards, here we're rounding our back. So curling our upper spine, and this is gonna place a little bit more emphasis on the upper kind of mid abdominals. But if you have a strong mind muscle connection with your abs as I do, with the cable crunch, I can feel a strong mind muscle connection with the lower abdominals. I can even get playful with this exercise and shift the tension. You can steer that neural drive to certain aspects of your abdominals. Um, I encourage you you to play around with it. That's the beauty of this game, this sport of recreational bodybuilding where you get to be very present in the moment, enhance that mind-muscle connection. And that's a great way to progress. Even if you're not able to increase weight over time, increase reps over time, you can always improve the quality of your repetition. So three sets there, eight to 12 reps, then moving on to the Russian twist. Three sets, 15 to 20 repetitions here. I love this movement. Great tension in the abdominals, great contraction with the obliques. Uh, just a great way to, to finish off my abs. Now, I am feeling absolutely incredible at the end of this workout. I am feeling invigorated. I am feeling empowered. I am feeling alive. I am not walking out of this gym feeling beat down. That's one of the beauties of having a lower volume training phase. Although 12 sets per muscle group per week 
isn't necessarily, it's not low <laughs> volume, that's kind of a lower moderate volume. Some people may find like 12 is somewhat high volume for them is what they can handle best. Uh, other, our fellow men over 40 can handle 20, 24 uh, sets per muscle group per week and sometimes even more, but you can't sustain that for the long term. Like having high volume training phases all the time, your body adapts to that stimulus and it takes a lot of wear and tear on your body. So I like to dial back that training volume temporarily, have a nice low volume training phase where um, our joints get a break, our, our muscles, our body, our body gets to fully recover, the fatigue to dissipate, um, and our muscles re resensitize to the training stimulus. So as we start ramping up the volume again, our bodies respond to that volume way better than it did even when we we're performing at the, the higher training volume. So it's really great to manipulate your training volume over time, but training volume is very individual. Uh, it really helps to know yourself how well you handle certain training volumes. But again, how you spread out that training volume also has a big difference as well. Here when we're only doing like six sets, one workout, six sets another workout with the uh, rest pause added to the end of some of those exercises it's nice to split it up evenly six sets per, per workout but when we start ramping up the training volume I like to have one workout where we blast a muscle group a little bit harder we punish it a little bit harder than another workout where we just stimulate we prod those muscle groups so that's what we do here in the Jack F40 Club this is a fantastic hybrid split workout that we are following this month we would love to have you join us if this workout seems uh, exciting to you want to follow along you want to be a part of a group like-minded bros like yourself who are want to live their life to the fullest feel invigorated feel alive get biceps that stretch your sleeves shredded abdominals come join us at the Jack F40 Club for the month of June and beyond we would love to welcome you in here. Now it is time for me to go grab my post-workout meal. Just polished up my post-workout meal. This is usually my second meal of the day, usually my pre-workout meal, but because I was on the go, it was more convenient for me to consume the Greek yogurt and berries, which is usually my third meal, my post-workout meal uh, for the day. But uh, here I am. Four free range eggs, love these delicious farm fresh eggs from one of my friends. Uh, along with that, I have some mixed veggies, a little bit of pink Himalayan salt on top, a little ground black pepper. Uh, in the bowl, on the side, two third cup oats, 140 grams of frozen mixed berries, a tablespoon of black maca powder. Uh, again, so that's three servings of maca powder throughout the day to optimize my male hormone health. I've been consuming maca for almost a year and a half now. I've tried all different brands. I've tried capsule form and everything and I have been hooked on the maca teams maca powder absolutely love this premium raw uh, version of their maca powder I absolutely love their morning motivator it is hands down the best quality maca I have tried on the market I'll include a link down below to their site um, I highly recommend it for any man over 40 who wants to optimize their hormone health uh, I add it like I said to my shake to my oats I had the morning motivator as a drink um, and I also have half a teaspoon of cystanch in the oats as well. So enough rambling for that. Gonna get on with my day, a productive day. Oops, I am also sipping on five grams of creatine monohydrate here uh, in four ounces of pom pomegranate juice. And I mix in some water as well, just to kind of dilute the pomegranate juice. So I sip on this post-workout as well. Ready to get on with the day. It's dinner time and I am serving up some serious gains here. I smoked some salmon. Uh, this was a big ass filet of salmon here, so I'm only eating half of it today. Got some sweet potato that I baked in the oven for about 40 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. A little bit of cinnamon, um, cinnamon, salt sprinkled on top. Mixed veggies. I. <laughs> totally dropped the ball on this. I completely wanted to have Brussels sprouts uh, baked in the oven, a little uh, olive oil and, and seasoning coating on it, but uh, I forgot and I, I just remembered as soon as I put the salmon on the smoker and it just wasn't enough time for me to go get the Brussels sprouts and prepare them and put them in the oven. So um, rolling with the mixed veggies right now, it's gonna do the trick. Can't wait to dive into this and get on with the day. Just an absolutely gorgeous day out here on the lake, Lake St. Clair, house back behind me. Bell River Marina off to the side there. I don't know if you can see the GM place, uh, Detroit, Michigan over there. Wide open Lake St. Clair behind me. People out on their boats, jet skis. It is hopping out here. What a great way to wind down at the end of the day. Work hard, play hard, freaking loving it. I've uh, just been busting my butt with, with work, with my physique goals, my health goals. Uh, business goals, relationship goals, all that good stuff. Uh, just living my life to the fullest. Here comes another pontoon flying by. This is just 
freaking awesome, man. I am, uh, I am absolutely loving this. And what a great way to compliment the uh, back exercises earlier today, paddle boarding. Just freaking awesome for the back, for the core. I'm gonna catch some good waves here. It is super calm out on the lake until these boats go flying by. <laughs> gonna get rocky here. Uh, but just soaking this up, it is going to be one hell of a summer here. Uh, just again, living my life to the fullest, encourage you to do the same. I am rocking, probably a good idea to put my phone down at this point. Talk to you soon. Winding down the day, watching the sunset with my furry homie, Chiefy Dog here. Uh, forgot to mention that we were out for our morning walk, as always, each and every day. Can't go a day without our morning walks, and typically we have two walks a day, but summertime, a little bit warmer in the evening, so I'll probably either do some biking or paddle boarding. Uh, but that morning walk was absolutely gorgeous. Hearing the geese honking out there just really grounds me in the moment. Uh, begins my day with a overwhelming sense of gratitude. I'm gonna let that footage play for you right now. So all in all, just an absolutely amazing day. Uh, I just finished doing some self-massage before coming out here uh, with a massage gun. That is something that I have been neglecting as well. So not only have I not been doing the mobility, a little bit of stretching before my workouts, I haven't been doing the self-massage at the end of the night. I've been sleeping like a freaking champ, but that is one thing that uh, I've just kind of put on the back burner because I've so been so busy with, uh, with work and other things in life. So I'm um, happy to get that back into a uh, into a routine now. Um, just feeling absolutely freaking incredible. It's just been an awesome day, great eating, great activity. Uh, I'd say my calories were right around 2,000, maybe 2,100 calories for the day. I'm not really tracking uh, lately, but I just know, I mean, those first three meals are the same that I have each and every day pretty damn much. So I know where my calories are at that point. I have a rough idea of how many calories were in my dinner today. Uh, so a definitely a deficit for today, making up for yesterday. The kids were over for dinner, we had wings, from John Max, haven't had them there before. Um, absolutely freaking loved it. Ate a little bit more than uh, I had planned, so I was definitely in a, a surplus there. I was really hoping the kids were gonna eat more, but I, I couldn't let them go to waste, and I certainly didn't want to give them all to, uh, to Chiefy Dog there, so um, I had my fair share of wings, and um, so yeah, like I said, in a surplus of today, in a deficit to balance things out tomorrow, back to normal. I'm sure I'm gonna have some drinks over the weekend. It's going to be absolutely freaking gorgeous out. We're up in the 90s, so I'm sure I'm gonna be out paddle boarding, enjoying this weather, soaking up some rays. Um, yeah, just living life to the fullest. That's what this is all about. Thanks for sharing this journey with me. I appreciate you big time. If you enjoyed today's video, please do me a favor and smash that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. If you know a fellow bro who would benefit from watching today's video, do me a favor and share it with them. More than anything, I'd love to hear from you down in the comment section below. Share your thoughts, share your insights, share your feedback. Before you go, don't forget to download your free guide, Jacked After 40. Have yourself an amazing day. Catch you in the next video.